Hello, all you wonderful people. It's Parker again, coming from my son's bedroom after just mowing the yard to give you your week's announcements. And, surprise, surprise, there's not a lot of announcements because we're not meeting and everything's kind of shut down. So, not a lot of announcements, which just means I get to talk to you longer, saying what I want to say, not worrying about announcements. Real quick, though. Announcements. Rhea and Amanda, continue to pray, intercede on behalf of them. If you've already given, if uh, you don't feel led to give, wonderful. But pray that what is given will just be multiplied and multiplied and multiplied. And I would encourage you to pray, not just for our church in financial giving, but for churches around the world um, that are finding out just how good God is. And they are finding out how very much the Lord is their provider. And that, that's for us as well. We, we've learned that lesson many times over, and we continue to rest in that. But just pray for these other churches that what is given would be multiplied and multiplied and multiplied so that when we get to come back together, you would just see this explosion of the church, that you would just see this absolute explosion um, of those returning to the Lord and the church's resources able to pour into these people. So just be praying for the church globally, okay, that the Lord would just multiply um, what is given and, and uh, people would just continue to rise up and move in obedience. Okay, and I just want to thank you guys for your obedience. I want to thank you for your engagement. I want to thank my wonderful wife for putting all this stuff on, making all this stuff possible. Okay, we're going to figure out the Sunday school thing. Don't worry about it. We're going to get it set up. It's going to be moving. Don't worry about it. And then I um, also want to thank Deb our children's pastor, who has set up this wonderful, her and Sarah have teamed up to set up this virtual Easter egg hunt throughout Sundown, okay? So cool. You can go to our website. You can access the uh, information there on the homepage, and then you can go on this virtual tour throughout the town on an Easter egg hunt, and each Easter egg unveils a portion of the story of Jesus, okay? So you just go through the Easter story, as you go through the town, you'll get to these eggs. There's a map and everything, okay? So it's super easy to find them, super easy to know where you're going. You just take a picture of the QR code. It opens the egg virtually, and it shows you uh, that piece of the story. So cool, okay? So awesome. That's going to be available until tonight. So share this. Let people know about it. Let families know about it, um, that they could come and engage in the the story of Jesus, the, the rising of our King, the reason that we're here, He unlocked to us the Helper, the Holy Spirit, so we can do what we've been doing for years, what we're going to continue to do because of this day, because He rose from the dead, and we just get to see that He is exactly who He says He is, and who He says He would always be. We see that in Isaiah, He's prophesied nearly 500 years before he comes, that he would do this exact thing. So this is a really cool opportunity for us just to engage our community. And so I would encourage you to share these things with our community so that they could be a part of that because we are the community's church, ladies and gentlemen. We are their church, okay? So uh, let's engage them. Let's, let's make this information known to them. Just want to thank Deb and Sarah for putting that together. What an awesome and creative idea from Deb. So cool. I'm so excited to see how the Lord moves through this. Even if we don't see it, we know that the Lord is moving through this in a powerful and mighty way. Okay, and then the next thing. I just want you to continue to read Psalm 91 every day. Intercede that over yourselves. Intercede that over the community. I, very, I feel very strongly that that is still what the Lord Jesus and the Holy Spirit are praying over us is that Psalm 91, that we would know that, that we would feel that, that we would know that we are under the Father's wings. And so just continue to read that, continue to intercede that over our community. And then this, we've sung this before, but it, it's been playing in my head um, all this morning and I was, as I was thinking about uh, coming to you today and making these announcements. And it's, here's where the dead things Come back to living. I've got that playing in my head over and over and over again. And I think that's just the anthem for what the Lord is doing in this time. Even though we can't see it necessarily, even though we can't feel it, I feel it. I'm sure some of you guys feel it, that the, the Lord is on the move, that he is bringing dead things back to life. And I am so excited to see what that looks like because that will be tangible. That will be 
something that we can physically see when dead things come back to life. You can't miss that. So I can't wait to see that and be a part of that with you guys. The Lord is doing that. He is bringing the dead things back to life. And we are on the front line. So I would continue to just encourage you to engage in prayer, engage seeking after the Lord and what He's doing in preparation for when we get back together. Because when we get back together, the ground is going to be running. I've talked to several people, and I myself have had vision of that first day. Of that first day. And I don't care if there's 12 people there. I don't care if there's 6,000 people there. What the Lord is going to unleash in that day, what He's unleashed when we get to come back together and we get to encounter one another, having just walked through this time with the Lord individually, and we get to gather together corporately, man, oh man, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be wonderful. And the Lord is going to establish himself like he has not established himself before. And we're going to be a part of that. And I'm so, so, so excited for our communities and for our families and all that the Lord is doing and that we get to be a part of it. What an honor. He has chosen us. He created you and formed you and set you in this day and age because he trusted you to be one of the ones that would receive his truth, and then carry his freedom into all the earth. And so you're alive right now for a reason. And the Lord has such significance over your story. He has anointed you for such significant things. And so I am so excited for us to continue to see that and us to get to gather together again. But the Lord is moving right now in the hearts of the individual. So just continue to pray for that. Intercede for the individual. Intercede on behalf of your family. I can't wait to see what the Lord is going to do. And then I just wanted to leave you with this. It's Psalm 25, or Isaiah 25, 1. I'm sorry, Isaiah 25, 1. O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things. Plans formed of old, faithful and sure. Even when we can't see that he's working, even when we can't feel it, especially in those times, right? The Lord is moving beyond what we can measure. And so I rejoice in that fact. I rejoice that he is the one that sees all and is everywhere. He's omnipresent and he's moving across the globe at once. And I am just so excited that we get to be united in spirit with him. We get to be united in spirit with one another that when we gather together, that right now I could turn this off and the Lord could put something on my heart to begin to pray for. And he put that same thing on your heart. And we would be Praying and interceding for the same things without having intera any interaction with one another. Unity in spirit. That's what I prayed. If you, if you remember this Sunday, the Lord put it on my heart so heavily when we were together that we would be a church that if we were gone, if we disappeared from the face of the earth the next day, that people would be able to say that they were united in spirit. And we prayed that, and we asked for that, and a lot of you guys agreed with that and said amen to it, and guess what? This is the time where that becomes true. We're living in that moment where he would refine us to be unified with him in spirit individually, that when we gather together corporately, we are united in spirit and in truth. He's doing that. He is making us that church, that we would be a church, we would be a house, we would be a body of people united in spirit. Just like we see in Acts 2, 42 through 47, we see this church only led by the Spirit of God. Not led by one individual, led by the Spirit of God. And in that operating in perfect unity, and the Lord was just absolutely changing their community each and every day. And they had favor with those in their community. And the Lord was adding to their number each and, day, each and every day those that were being saved. Okay, and it came because of unity in spirit. Now is the time. This is the moment that we get to be unified in spirit. We get to be unified with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in our own lives, in our own homes. In this place, me and my family get to be united before God in spirit. That when we gather together again, we would all meet as one and we would all be united in spirit. And I can't wait for that day. I'm so excited. I think about it often. I can't talk about it too much or I'll start crying. Okay, I'm a little sensitive about it. I cannot wait to meet with you again. I'm so excited for what the Lord is doing. Be optimistic in this time. Intercede in this time. Be joyful in this time. It's difficult. It's hard. But God is good and He's working on behalf of those that love Him. He works all things for the good of those that love Him. So believe in that. Trust in that. Rest in that. And then
and continue to pursue that the Lord would be, uh, he would find you united with him, uh, that we could one day be united together again. So I'm excited. I can't wait. I love you all so much. And uh, we'll see you next time. Shalom.